morning hello and welcome to my daily blog of life on a beef and arable farm um, we've got a lot of new subscribers because a video that i put up recently about car blocking a gateway for some reason a week later has shot up so if you are a new subscriber please let us know where you're watching from and if you're a farmer or if um, you're in another occupation and you just like watching things about farms so we got Andy doing a mix on the nine meter. That's our mix wagon that creates all the feed for the cattle. My dad's feeding round on the TM. So I've just jumped in the 210 now. I'm just tipping off the mix that Andy was making. That's all tipped off, so I pulled it outside, ready for a pre-mix to be made a little bit later on in the day. Also, we'll be doing our mix mention where we raise a bit of money for Yorkshire Air Ambulance. Four and a half thousand, I think we've raised so far. As I was leaving yesterday afternoon, if you remember, we were tipping that load of beet off. Well, it looks like we've got a bit more as well. So that'll keep the cows happy. They really love that sugar beet. It's what you make white sugar from. And um, when you, if you cut it open and try a little bit, it, it's very sweet, it's sugary. You can just taste it. And that's what the cows love. So they'll try and find out that bit and eat them bits first. Andy's pulling the vans out. Morning, Andy. Morning. All right? Yeah, good. Good. You have a good day without me? That's all right. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, this is looking a bit tidier, isn't it? So I keep opening the gates and letting Andy in these pens. He's on the 6130R John Deere with our Teagle Tomahawk 9500. This just blows the straw. We call it the straw party. Every morning we bed the cows down and this machine just makes it super, super easy. We can get to every single place in the shed. We really just couldn't do the job without them. Got my mate here that's always coming. Always coming to see me, aren't you? Pain, pressing. Swallow my arm pretty much. How are you, you big dafty? Eat my coat, cover me in slobber. Lovely, isn't it? Ha ha ha! Keep up, keep up. He's nice, I like him. Time for me to let my dad in now. Get some cows fed. So we just all get out of the meal. Have a look in. We got my mate here, haven't we? Hey? My friend again. How we doing? Feeding a few more of the pens here. Straw these up in a minute. Just feeding in here. Andy's going to fetch another bale. This is the outside area. I'm going to straw this up because it's wet. Dad's just leaving and Andy should be coming back down here to get what I was saying done let's draw this outside bit try and dry the job up a bit eh fella Andy's done a good job there, it's looking much better. Yes, hello. It's coffee time. Wax on, wax off, Andy. Andy's just putting in a poor quality A bale into here just to get rid of it, really. Um, it's 
these guys are on the good stuff, but um, they will eat a bit of bit of hay. So me and Andy are gonna want to do some um, vaccinating this afternoon. But we ain't got no tags. We've run out of coloured management tags, so I'm just gonna pop down to our local tag place, which luckily for us is five five minutes down the road, something like that, and pick up some coloured tags, and then we can uh, we can get everything done. So I got back with the tags now. Andy's just setting some bales out, which is great. Nice barley bales, lovely. So I've got the laptop because we record everything that's done to the animals. So um, worming, vaccinating, and fluking today. So put their numbers into here, record their weights. Everything's data then. We've got data on every animal. We know if they're performing when they come back into the crush again and we weigh them. We can see like, if they're maybe not putting weight on, what's the reason? Has it got um, some kind of health problem? What, what, what's happening? We can make a decision here at the side of the crush. That's why we've got this thing. You went yeah. Out for dinner last night. yeah, I went out for dinner. I'm hungry, I'm starving right yeah, now. It's like, yeah. Yeah, we had an all you can eat buffet thing. Cosmo, you've been to Cosmo. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, um, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know if we'll be going again, to be honest. Weren't as good, weren't as good as I remember. I think last time I went, it was like when it was brand new. And everything's looking a bit like, I'm not saying everything, but some things are looking a bit, I don't know. It's going to be quite pricey for the four of you. Not, not bad, because for kids, because like, um, it's five and under or something. Yeah. It were 2 99 or three, I can't remember, it were 2 99 or 3 99 for them, so it weren't as bad as I expected. Yeah. Um, but yeah, right now I'm feeling starving because I've you, filled my belly too much last night. You, Cheapskate, did you get like one share of drink refill and just share it between you? No, no, I had a shandy, <laughs> Becky had a mocktail, like you know, them like fake cocktail things, yeah. And then the kids, drinks. yeah, kids had fruit shoots because yeah. they got to have fruit shoots when they go out, yeah. It's like it's like they, yeah. we just used to have juice as kids, didn't we? Yeah, no, yeah. Bit, of orange, bit of orange cordial or something, but now it's like got to have a bottle of fruit shoot, which is juice but in a plastic, whatever. <laughs> anyway, me and Andy are gonna get some. Well, these guys here, all vaccinated right now. So, as one leaves the crush, then the doors at the front will close automatically. The back doors open. Then they shut automatically behind this one. Then I have to use the lever so we can trap his head. Like that. Then I squeeze him because it calms him down a hell of a lot. Andy comes to the front. He gives him a nasal vaccine for IBR. He then reads me the number, but I'm not over there, so we'll, we'll do that bit in a minute. Gives him a drench with his fluke. Under pressure here is Andy. So that kills um, a parasite that grows in the liver, liver fluke. Then he's getting the clippers out. There's a nice clip along the back. And that keeps him nice and cool. Stops him from sweating uh, and then getting cold. And then he puts a paw on worm it along the back, which kills any intestinal parasites. Then I bash the number into you. It tells me everything about it, when it came, if it's had any medicine before, um, the price that we paid for it, how many days it's been here on farm, just all the information that I need to know, all in there. So then I can input its weight and tell um, the computer that it's had a vaccine, it's had a fluke and it's had a wormer because they all have withdrawal periods and we've got to make sure that we're sticking to the withdrawal periods because we don't want any like wormer going into the food chain or anything like that so um yeah it's ideal this like a lot of people use books and write in a book and stuff like that but if you've got it in a database it just helps out where we're way, uh, like just just yeah just makes the job easier so we're gonna break off now for dinner Ben's here, but your car's not very well, is it? Yeah, it's EGR, mate. EGR. It's funky money, isn't it? It's a Land Rover, it just costs. Oh, yeah. You are? He earns a lot anyway, so he's alright. <laughs> <laughs> no, he Especially earns more than me. Upgraded to a Range Rover. <laughs> I, think, I thought they were 1%. Oh, do you know what Becky said to me yesterday? We pulled up into um, 
car park at French Gate. Yeah. And she's like, look, that's got seven seats. <laughs> what was it? Range Rover Sport. <laughs> they don't, do they? I know, yeah, that's what yeah, I thought. Yeah, I thought they didn't have seven seats. What, but the new ones. No, no, the older ones. I thought, yeah, don't you'll be thinking about that. No way. You can have my discovery. No, ta. I'd rather have an all in head. Mm. Cost me less. It's mint, it's costing me less each year. XC90, that's a good car. I, I did break down at Ike. Toyota, it. Toyota Land. I like, you know, older Land Cruisers, but they don't make them anymore. You know? That's a beast of a car. Like. Why didn't you get a Grenadier? It's viable. Have you seen him? Yeah, I would, but like. 55,000, probably 55,000, I think. That's it, like expensive and. Well, they don't need it. Compared to what? What? 55,000? Yeah, but brand new like, car that size, why would you yeah. see your brand new Mercedes? Like 70? Brand new Range Rover, 110? Yeah, but that's a bit different to a, like a Grenadier, which is basically a Defender. Yeah, they're mint. They're not, I don't think they would be mint, would they? They'd have no, loads of issues. I don't, know, I don't know how many issues they'd have, you see. That's the thing. We could get them to send you one. Yeah, we yeah, we could find out. out. Yeah, I mean, I'd, I really I'd be want really one. happy. I mean, I mean, they're a really good car. Um, <laughs> What's the engine in it? I don't know. Somebody will know what engine they've got Three in it. Three litre, I think. Yeah, but what? Who, Who makes, makes it? it? Probably a decent engine. I asked Probably. all these questions when we were with the farm this year and I can't remember. We're chatting to it for ages. What, what happened about Sunday? We missed the tractor run. Did you not see that? Where was that? That massive one at Harrogate. What was it? Yeah, 388 tractors or something like that. Oh! Yeah. Did, 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 did we? Didn't even get no, invited, did we? Didn't even get invited, did you? Didn't even get invited, eh? Yeah. What's it like, eh? Right, we'll go off. We're anyway, we're going to get some to eat. We've got all them guys done. A few more left to do though. Uh, right now we're just weighing and drafting some cattle. So these guys in here are uh, getting ready to go or they're up to weight or age or they're really cheeky like this one. It's pushing my, the gate open on me. And then the ones in the yard aren't, um, aren't good enough yet. They're having fun outside though. We're moving troughs again. Andy's got his stick. So we're just swapping cow pens around now. This one's a bit bigger. We're going to move them into there. Then we can put some new cattle into this bottom pen. And these ones will fit in the middle pen now. So that's if uh, Andy and Ben can get them out. We're moving the ring feeder. Are you going to get in it, Ben? You're not getting in it? Ah. Uh. I thought there could have been some hamster content then. No. I think these guys are enjoying the new pen anyway. Andy's on now, he is doing a mix. He's getting all, all sorted. Ben's just getting the last bit a meal and then we'll get what's in the mixer tipped off. today we have got Thomas Robinson who's 16 and Will Brown and his daughter Abigail who's only six. Um, we've raised four thousand three hundred and seven pounds for Yorkshire Air Ambulance. If you want to get involved in that then there's a link in the description below. Sorry if it sounds like I'm shouting that thing's really noisy. I am now tipping the mix off again. What's that? I left it there. Oh we'll just yeah we'll put them next door into them. I'm gonna put them in there because your dad's bringing what he's bringing back is putting in there isn't he? Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh. Right, they look yeah, like, leave them there for now. They look like... Um, I don't know why I'm recording this bit. Yeah. Cool. They look like right, so now uh, me and Andy have just been discussing where we're putting different cows in different places because everything's changed around a little bit today, hasn't it? Mm -hmm. um, but I hope you have liked today's video because um, if you have, press the like button. It really helps us out. Subscribe if you're not already. Not sure if my TV appearance is coming on tonight. It might have no. been already been and gone. I don't know. I I've not heard I anything. I didn't see crime watch last night. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, um, yes, that might be it. Eh? Mm. I think I've got away with that one. Yeah, yeah, hopefully. Um, right. Anyway, yeah, we'll see you tomorrow. I've got the roofer at home. Andy's got a B somewhere, yeah. and uh, we're just going to leave Ben to it, really, aren't we? Yeah. yeah. Done in a minute, won't we? Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully the farm's all right when we get back in the morning. <laughs> right. Cheers, guys. Bye.